Hi everyone, my name is Mihao Cui. I'm a second year PhD student from UMass under the supervision of Jie Xu. I will briefly introduce our work Sniffing Visible Light Communication Through Walls. This is a joint work with Rida, Qing, and Jie. First, let's get a general picture of our project. Visible light communication is considered as one promising technique for the next generation 6G network. Visible light has several unique advantages. The first advantage is that compared with the traditional radio frequency signal, visible light signal occupies a huge bandwidth, almost thousands of times larger than Wi-Fi. Therefore, VLC has the potential to achieve a very high throughput. Second, since visible light frequencies are far away from RF frequencies, visible light communication does not interfere existing RF communications. Last but not least, VLC is considered to be secure because visible light signals can be easily confined within physical boundaries such as walls. Let's further talk about the security feature of VLC. Different from RF signals such as Wi-Fi, visible light could not penetrate through walls. Therefore, the attacker cannot sniff the VLC data if the attacker is physically located outside of space. So, VLC is considered as a secure scheme. But, is VLC really as secure as people thought? Surprisingly, the answer is a big no. For the first time, we found that in VLC transmissions, the transmitter not only emits out visible light signals, but also leaks out side channel signals. What makes it more interesting is that this side channel signal is a low frequency EM signal, which could not be blocked by walls. Now, let me explain why there exists such signal leakage with VLC. The main reason is the intensity modulation scheme widely adopted by VLC systems. In intensity modulation, VLC transmitter transmits 0 and 1 by turning on and off the LED. We use a simple example on the right hand side to illustrate the process. The bottom diagram is the current change in the power line during the process. We could see that when LED is turned on and off, the current in the power line is actually changing correspondingly. This changing current is the key of the leaked signal. Maxwell equations tells us that a changing current will induce a changing magnetic field and the changing magnetic field will further induce an electromotive force. From the induced electromotive force, we could infer how the current changes and accordingly we could infer the VLC data. To fully understand the underlying mechanism, a fundamental step is to model the VLC side channel. We present our side channel model and study the parameters affecting the sniffed signal. A lot of parameters affect the sniffed signal, such as the current in the power line and the coil size. Please refer to our paper for details. Now, let's play with our system. Based on the model, we address several technical challenges and implement the system as presented. The receiver coils are self-made copper coils with a diameter of 7.8 cm. We conduct experiments with 9 different LEDs with the parameters shown in the table. The obtained sniffing distance ranges from 3.1 meters to 8.2 meters, which are comparable to the state-of-art VLC transmission distances. We also evaluate scenarios with two walls and when the transmitter and the sniffer are located at different floors. For both scenarios, our sniffer works well. Now, let me show you some exciting experiments. We replace the coil with the commonly seen items in our daily lives. We wind an earphone around a cardboard tube and also a human arm to see if the VLC data can still be sniffed. We also replace the coil with a wireless charger coil of a smartphone. In all the three scenarios, the wealth data can still be sniffed. With all that, let me conclude this work. In this work, we identified a novel and fundamental physical security flaw of VLC. We successfully modeled the VLC side channel. Based on the model, we designed and implemented a chip sniffer. With comprehensive experiments, we showed our sniffer can sniff VLC through walls.